Hello everybody, Grandpa here. Today, <clears throat> I am ripping a box of Cleavor V-Star. Here it is, it's a biggie. I've got, it looks like six packs inside and one of those super big uh, cards and two promo cards. So let's rip this baby and get going. But I'm just gonna rip it because Otherwise, I have problems. <laughs> I've become good at ripping packs, but ripping the boxes, that's another story. Now, we take the plastic off, and there's plastic and plastic and plastic, as you know, if you've gotten these in the past. So, there's piece of plastic number two. Now, here comes piece of plastic number three. And then we get the two promo cards and the Poke coin, which is gold. It's worth a lot. So we have two cleavers and a code card. We have uh, Cleavor V and Cleavor V Star to start out. So it's a good start. We got the super huge card. Just to show you how big this baby is, it's uh, there's a regular card and there's a big card. So it's a big. We have a Cleavor pin. So this is a bonus already. So now, we have six packs. Let's see what we got. Get rid of plastic, plastic, plastic. We have Astral Radiance, two packs. Brilliant Stars, two packs. Fusion Strike, two packs. All we need is a Shakur, and we're good. We have two packs Shakur. Okay, so I'm going to rip the Astral Radiance first and see what we get. I'll rip both of them, and then we'll go through them. And of course, Grandpa is the, the ripping king. If we had a ripping contest, I would win. If you knew me from the past, you'd say, how the heck did this happen? And my answer would be, I have no idea. Other than a guy named Pokey Legend helped me and told me how to do it. So thank you, Pokey Legend. You've been, you've been a big help. And he is legendary. So let's get these two code cards out of the way. Two code cards. Here's one. Here's the other. Okay, here comes uh, uh, Astral Radiance. Already I forgot which cards there were. Grandpa's gonna do a little cheating. Do a little cheating and see if we got something good here. Ooh. Okay, we'll get the good ones in the back. We'll save the good ones for last. You know how Grandpa does that and I'm sure it upsets some people, but uh, come on, deal with it people. Oh, oh, I dropped it. Okay. First we have somebody I know, too bad it's not Japanese, it's Kambi. I know Kambi. Second we have Routes, R-A-L-T-S, I don't know Routes. And then we have third, Nikit. Nikit. Well, it looks like a, a fox, and a fox, if I'm not mistaken, a fox baby is called a kit. So, that makes sense, Nikit. Now I got, I'll remember that. Here's Togipi. Uh, I don't know. My toes don't look like that. My toes don't look GP-ish. So I, I don't know what I would do there. Here's Chateau, which to me looks like a young Pidgeot. Am I wrong? No. Here's, you can never have too much of this. Yellow energy. Never. So this is Astral Radiance. Now here's Cranidos. I have no idea who that is. I've never seen it before. Here's Pillow swine. So think about having a pillow and going to bed at night and put your head on it and it's a swine, it's a pig. Pillow pig. Think of how difficult it would be to go to sleep with that odor. <laughs> Oink cologne, baby. Oink cologne. Here's Choi. Now, Choi uh, used to be a friend of mine a long time ago and uh, he was uh, Chinese. Or Japanese, I'm not really sure. He was ease. Something ease. I, I'm sorry, I don't know. I never asked him because anytime I got near him, he'd run away. So, and th these guys are fast. I tell you every time, they teach Pokemon how to be so fast and how to be so slippery. So Choi and I used to be good friends, but I haven't seen him in a you know, couple, 30 years. Okay, here's Routes. No idea who that is. Here's Sneasel. <laughs> You know, I hope one day I have to sneeze and you guys can see how I sneeze. I sneeze a lot. <laughs> Here's Miss Drevious. 
Ah, that makes sense. Instead of mischievous, mischievous. Makes sense. Barboach. Oh, that's Barboach. Now I know. Here's Sither. Sither, who might be a pre-evolution of Scizor, maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. Here's Green Energy. Here's Hippodon. Now, that's not nice. What if the guy's name is Don and, and he's kind of a little overweight? Are you going to call him Hippodon? I mean, that's terrible. That's a bad name. Here's Quilava. Now, the thing about Quilava is uh, on fire. <laughs> Here's Energy Loto. Uh, uh, I've never seen an Energy. Oh, I'm going to hide the next cards because the next ones are good. I've never seen Energy Loto before. Have you seen? I've never seen. Come on. Okay. Now. We have, in this case, two, we have a reverse holo, a full holo, and then, I'm sorry, we have a reverse holo, a holo, and then two massive, beautiful cards. So our first reverse holo is Barboach. Barboach. Reverse holo. Nice card. Second card is Magnezone. <laughs> I would have known that because I can see magnets. I can see red and blue. The uh, North and South Poles. Third car is Obstagoon, which is, I can't, oh, let me turn the light on here. <laughs> Another grandpa moment. Obstagoon is one star, but it's a nice card. Boy, it's a pretty card. It's very busy, though. Very busy. And the next card is, wow, one star also, one star also, Lucario V. Look at that baby. So, Two gems here, Obstagoon and Lucario V. So now we're going to open it. That was pretty good for two packs. Here comes the brilliant stars. Unlike the people in Hollywood nowadays who think they're brilliant stars. Oh, that, that one almost ripped itself. How's that sound? Let's get that code card over there. Let's put this Pokemon card right here. That one really almost ripped. That was the easiest ripping pack I've ever had. Oh, my gosh, another one. Oh my goodness. Brilliant stars. Wow, does that rip easy. Holy schmoly. Whatever a schmoly is, I and mean, they're holy too. So they're very religious. Okay, we have Pokey Code. Can you see the whole thing? Yes, you can. And we have Pokey Code. I hope that helps you. We're going through the two packs of brilliant stars. Oops, they're upside down. And I'm going to just go through and see if we have any... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we'll save that for last. <laughs> we'll save it for last. But if you know me, you know what it is. <laughs> I got another one. It's my fourth one. <laughs> I don't care about the rest of the cards. I don't care. Okay, first we have Execute. They are cute eggs, but they'll kill you. It's like Execute. Not. They're not cute. They're executioners. That's what they are. Here's Trap Inch. Makes sense. Oh, I am so happy right now. Brilliant Stars wins this battle. Ghibli, Gibble, G-I-B-L-E. No idea. Buizel. Ha, ha, ha. I don't care. I don't care about Buizel. I got, you know what, in back, it's my fourth one. Ha, 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 Halucha, which is cool because that makes sense. It's part hawk and part luchador. See, now I'm starting to understand the names. Luchador are Mexican wrestlers like uh, Rey Mysterio Jr. wears one of those masks when he wrestles in WWF. Here's Clefairy. I don't know if I can say that without getting in trouble. I'm sorry. I'm just reading what's there. He's, 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 he's Clefairy. Let's just leave it at that and let's stop the, let's stop the bleeding. Green energy. Siglyph. Makes sense. I don't know how, but it does. Here's Freshwater Set. Now, Pokemon, as I explained, have thermos bottles, and they need fresh water, because especially if you're a Char Charmander, Charmeleon, or a Charizard, because your, your butt's on fire, your tail's on fire, and you're running around trying not to get caught running. A, and you're, you're, so you've got to have these little six packs of water. It looks like Evian, but it's not. It's uh, Pokemon water. Uh, it comes from the Pokeon Springs, located in Pokeon Springs, New York. I don't know if you've ever been there. I've been there. 
I've tasted the water. It's okay. It's not as good as regular water, but it's not as bad as Pokemon food. I've had Pokemon food too. And let me just tell you one thing about Pokemon food. <laughs> okay. Here's Starmie. I would have gotten that if it was Japanese. I knew that. Riolu. <laughs> I wouldn't have got that. Here's Cherubi. I should know this because it looks like a ruby cherry. Cherubi. I should know that. If it was Japanese, I might know it. Here's Sork. I'm going to just skip here. Here's Burmy. I don't know who that is. Here's Staryu again. Okay, here's Sork, a reverse hollow. Now, here's Clefable, which is part of the evolution of Clefairy. There I go with the F word again. And uh, I got to be careful. I don't want to get in trouble. Because Daddy doesn't, Grandpa doesn't like getting in trouble. Here's, uh, what color is this? It's not gray and it's not blue. Clang. Clang. Now here's Barry. Ah. Barry was out picking up, uh, looks like, uh, or, oh, he was delivering papers. He was the paper boy, Barry. And what was good about him was he could have 100 customers and they're so fast, these trainers, you can't imagine how fast they can run, especially when they're around me. Uh, it's weird. And I've, I've run incredibly two New York marathons and a Disney marathon and a Disney World, Disneyland half marathon. <laughs> cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> but I can't say I ran it. I'm more like, Finished it. <laughs> so here's Barry. Last time I saw him, he was running a lot faster than me. And, you know, I I don't know what he looks like from the front. From the back, I know exactly what he looks like, if you know what I mean. Here's Grottle, G-R-O-T-L-E. And then <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm going to do this like they do with the sports cards that are worth $100,000. They go, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. It's a rookie. It's the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, it might be Patrick Mahomes. It might be, it might be, it might be, it might be. It's a Charizard. <laughs> number four, baby, number four. Oh my God, Charizard V-Star. Whoa, look at that. My God, explosive fire. Hands down, the winner. Brilliant stars, thank you, Lord. Okay, mm. here comes, uh, Fusion Strike, two packs. <laughs> Who cares? There, unless there's two Charizards in here, then I care. Or, well, I like Charizards. I don't know. I like Mimi Q's too. I love Mimi Q. Okay, here's the first code. Okay, we'll get rid of that. We'll put that in the give it to somebody else pile. <laughs> and, oh, second one, this ripped just as easy as the Brilliant Stars. That was weird. Some of these packs have been ripping really easy. They must have heard me complaining about how they rip. And here's the second code. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go through the cards and see if we have a winner. And I'm not gonna let the, the camera up above C. I'm not gonna let the camera up above, up, up above C. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, does Grandpa have to be careful here. Okay, <laughs> let's see that again. I, oh, there was one. Oh, I didn't see that one. Okay, and is that it? Yeah. Okay, well, I can tell you right now that Fusion Strike ain't gonna win. <laughs> Sorry, Fusion Strike. So let's do this. Let's start with Clobopus, which is, which is a, an octopus that clobbers you. That's why he's got boxing gloves on his hands. Clobopus. See? When you think about it, they make sense sometimes. Here's Tynamo, which, uh, you know what I just said about making sense when you think about it? That doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, here's Zorua. Zorua. Never saw Zorua before. Hopefully I'll never see Zorua again. Here's Shelder Rapid Strike. Shelder, S-H-E-L-L-D-E-R. Oh, that's my favorite. And I say this all the time, Caterpie. Now, I've had apple pie, peach pie. That's about it, because I don't like blueberry pie. But I'm sure as heck not eating Caterpie, because think about, I mean, think about if you're eating a pie and it tastes like caterpillars. <laughs> 
Here's Arcanine. Uh, they used to call me something similar to that, Arcanine, but the Arc was, it was a little different. The Nine was right, but the Arc was something else. We'll talk about that at a later date when you're a little older. Here's Red Energy. Here's Zarud. Zarud. Here's Del Caddy. These are, I've never seen, these people aren't in the book I have. I've never seen them before. I'm telling you, Pokemon is messing with my mind. Here's Dark Ray. I mean, come on. Sandy Gast on the beach. Makes sense. Plus Lee. P-L-U-S-L-E. Plus Lee. Hey, you ain't nothing but a hound dog. Elvis Plus Lee. They got one of those. Pokemon have singers. They do. And they play at Pokey Vegas, which is kind of close to Las Vegas, but on the other side. Here's Vulpix, which I think turns into Ninetales, if I'm not mistaken. Look at it. It turns into Ninetales. Here's Meltan. And Meltan is the hex nut. And I'm Meltan, but I, I'm not a hex. I'm just a nut. Here's Toxel. That makes sense to me. Here's Blue Energy. Do I have to show you Blue Energy? You've probably seen 10 zillion billion of them. Here's Trevenant. Now, I've never seen Trevenant before. I mean, come on. Here's Adventures, Dis Adventures Discovery. Whoa, let me go to here. Okay, here's a reverse hollow of Grimace Snarl, and it's a single strike. Wow, is that a nice card. Wow. But it's not a Charizard. <laughs> Okay, next one is Gliscor, and it's a reverse hollow. And then I went back to, for a reason, I went back to a, uh, I went back to a base card of Schoolgirl. Now, I have three boys and a girl, and that's kind of what my daughter looked like. I mean, she was in school, she was very cute. She was, she was my little sweetheart. She was my last, my fourth child. So, my little sweetheart, now she's all grown up. <laughs> but, in the meantime, I got a four schoolgirl. <laughs> that looks like my little Allie. Look how cute she is. So, this is Grandpa saying, uh, let me think about this. Fusion Strike has a schoolgirl. Uh, uh, Astral Radiance has phew, Lucario V and Obstagoon. But, brilliant stars. That's Charizard! <laughs> Charizard, number four at the Kennel Club. So this is Grandpa saying, I really enjoyed ripping, super enjoyed ripping these packs. And this has been a wonderful day. I got Charizard number four. So I'm going to make a little video for my little shorts. And uh, the Charizard is going to be like the whole video. So this is Grandpa saying, Thank you for watching, everyone. Grandpa loves you, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.